we are done creating our GIFs, what we'll want to do is load them to Jiffy for use. So depending on the type of account you have, your GIFs may be searchable in Jiffy's like search engine that they use on websites like Instagram or Facebook. But even if you are not like an approved artist or you haven't been approved for an account that can be searched for, you can still utilize your GIFs and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm gonna show you how to load everything from the computer and then we can jump into the phone later when it comes to being able to use our GIFs. So I'm gonna log into my account. So once I've logged into my account, I have a whole bunch of different like organized, like I guess folders that I have kind of set up like playlists, seasonal themes, it all like whatever my GIFs are, they're organized in these little areas here. Um, so I'm gonna probably create a new collection with 90s themed GIFs. Um, I'll add the ones that I've created in this class, but then I'm likely going to add some more. So I'm going to first upload and then I'll show you how to edit those collections. So I'm gonna select upload. I'm gonna select GIF. I'm gonna choose my file. So I'm gonna go into my final GIF files and I'm going to select them. I'm gonna select all of them by clicking on the last one, holding shift, and then clicking on the first one and it'll select everything in my series. And then I'm gonna hit upload. And then I can go in and add tags for everything because this makes it easier when it comes to searching for GIFs that relate to the content that people might be using. So I'm going to add tags based on what I've created um, and I'm going to separate the tags with commas. When I upload these, what I'm going to do after I've added all my tags, I'm going to select plus. It's going to add all of my tags in bulk. I'm going to add these to a collection. I'm going to add a new collection and I'm going to name that collection That's So 90s. And then I'm going to create the collection. And then I'm going to go in now and update the rest of these. So once I've added that first one, I'm going to select my second one and I'm going to add my tags for this one. Um, and what's nice is that it also gives you tags to add. So I can just click on those tags and it will add those to my GIF for me based on the image itself as well as prior images that I've created. And now I'm gonna go and add the tags for this new one. I'm gonna utilize the tags that they've created for me, but I'm also going to add my own tags as well. And you can only add 20 tags at a time though. So you just wanna make sure you don't overdo that. And then I'm gonna click on my next one and then repeat the same process. And then I'll click on the very last one and then repeat that process. All right, once I've added all of my tags, I'm happy with um, the settings I've created. I wanna make sure that the visibility is set to public. And then um, I'm gonna add them to my That's So 90s collection. And then I'm going to select Upload to Jiffy. Once my upload is complete, if I have any errors, I can double check them. So let's see this one. I'm just going to hit retry and that one has been uploaded and now I can open my channel and my GIF should load. It'll be under my That's So 90s collection and I can now utilize these GIFs and reshare them and also use them in something like the search engine when I'm searching for GIFs to utilize. Um, on my phone, in text message and things like that, or online in different places. You can utilize an embed code and copy that, or you can just share, you can copy the link. But I really like the ability to kind of organize everything and keep it all in one place. I like to 
add collections to my account just to make it easier to find stuff. Um, but basically that is how you upload everything to Jiffy. You can also do this directly from your iPad if you're working on an iPad um, or your phone and things like that. But I like to work on the computer obviously because I'm using stuff like Clip Studio Paint. It just makes the most sense. Um, but then I can access them on my phone as needed. And even if you aren't like a verified artist, I'm not a verified artist, but I was approved to get my GIFs found in search. But even if you're not that, you're not a verified artist or you don't have your GIFs approved to be found in search, you can still utilize the GIFs that you load to Jiffy. And I'll show you how to do that next. Now that we've loaded everything to Jiffy, what I want to quickly show you is how you can use your GIFs um, in apps like Instagram and even if you aren't an approved artist. So I'm going to go into Jiffy and I'm at my account. I can see my favorites, I can see my uploads, and I can also see everything by collection. So I'm just going to go to uploads. The most recent uploads of the GIFs that we created in this class today are here. And what you'll see is that if you click on your GIF, you can actually select it and then tap it to copy and then it'll say GIF copied. And then if you go into Instagram, if you have a story ready to go, you can add this GIF right in there and you don't have to search anything. I'm going to delete this really quickly by just holding it down. I'm going to tap on it and drag it to the garbage icon to get rid of it. Another way you can search for your GIFs is if you are an approved artist or a verified artist, you can select the stickers icon. And you can, if you ended up uploading something like a sticker, like I showed you how to export with a transparency, you can search for your handle. So if we go back to Jiffy and we look at my main page, You'll see my handle is Jen from the Block. So if I search Jen from the Block, all of my approved GIFs that have been approved to be searchable come up. So I can select one and use it in my stories. But even if you don't have that option to be searchable, you can still go directly to your Jiffy account, find the GIF that you want to share, tap on it, and then tap it to copy and then go back into Instagram. Make sure you have your reel or your story ready to go. It'll pop up in that lower left-hand corner, select it, and then you can add it to your screen. And then you can share your story as is. And I like to just kind of use this as like a self-promotional tool, things like that. Um, and since I'm creating these for this specific class, I can just create a post about it and then I can share it. So even if you don't have the option to have your work searchable using the API that um, Jiffy and Instagram and all those other social media platforms use, you can still go directly into your Jiffy app and use your GIFs directly from your account by just clicking on them, copying them, and then you can add them to your stories just like that. It's really simple.